It's something you'll find embossed on the sides of boxes. Flea market finds that excite automotive excavators. It's something that is worn in stitches and in ink on chests and arms and door panels with a pride that outshines the most brilliant blue. It's in history books in black and white, moments of courage captured on back straights or in bull rings under the lights on Saturday nights, on quarter miles that stretch out into the sunset, atop two tracks that step high into the Moab sky. You'll find it on the tip of the tongue at parts counter pulpits all over America. Sense it in the skill of a technician's hand in service bays all over the world. See it lit in crystal, told in pixels, and delivered with a brilliance that always looks ahead. Whether it's lighting up a late night father and son project, adding a personal touch when a car leaves the lot for the very first time, or welcoming a friend with a few minutes to spare, you will know this kind of legend on a first name basis. After all, these are more than cars, trucks, or SUVs. They're Mopars, born and bred in the Mopar Nation, the trusted ambassadors of all things automotive. And what started 75 years ago as a motor park has grown into something that now plays a large one. This is Mopar, a movement 75 years in the making.